Good morning, today I've got a fun and easy Gutenberg tip for you to try out on your own websites. It only takes about five minutes. There's two things I'm gonna show you how to do. The first is to create blob shapes for your gallery images, which can make them quite interesting, I think. The second thing is that you can open them up in a nice light box, which is clickable through. So it kind of takes your galleries to the next level. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Let's get into how you do it. Right, there's just a few steps to get your blobs blobbing. We are going to need some CSS for this. I'll show you how to generate the CSS. I will also put a link in the description below to the CSS that I've used so you can just copy it and use it on your site. So this is the gallery that I've just inserted. I just want to show you one thing on the gallery that's coming with WordPress 5.9 and is already available if you use the Gutenberg plugin and that's this. So the gallery is now a container block which means it actually contains individual image blocks which is really cool because then you can actually target now individual image blocks so if you want to add an effect per image you can actually do that because they are now separate blocks so there's lots of advantages to how the gallery block has changed back to the blobbing so what we're going to do essentially there's two steps we're going to create the radius for the blob and then apply that using a bit of css which i'm going to give you to each image now to create the radius i found this really cool free online tool which i will again put a link to in the description below which is a fancy border rad radius generator and it's kind of fun. Now, don't worry about the colors because the colors won't apply. But basically, you get these little sliders here and you just pull them from side to side. And that's going to generate your fancy radius. And you'll see down here, this is actually what you get. This is the CSS that you're going to need. But again, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to add that. And then you just copy it once you've once you're happy with what you've got. So this is this is kind of your first step, really. Well, your first step is to add the media gallery like I've done here. Then your second step is to go to Fancy Border Radius, link in the description below, create your fancy shape. Third step is then go to uh, your customizer. So let's let's show you how this works. I'm going to go view page and we're going to put we're going to go customize and then we're going to go additional CSS. Now this is the CSS that you're going to need to get this to work on your site. So I will put again a link in the description so you can download this. Just use it exactly as I've used it if you want to. And all I've done here is I've got the uh, the W WP block image, which is actually the CSS for each image in your gallery. And then I've just added this border radius to it. And then for the other for the other gallery images, I've just created children's CSS for them. So you can do it very quickly. So you don't have to give each one a separate class of CSS. You can just do it in here. And this basically says, right, this is the second image. This is the third image. This is the fourth image. This is the fifth image. You can just copy the code that I've used here. And then essentially all you're going to do is jump in here and change this radius. And can you see how that middle one's changed? Because that's the second child of the of the group. And that's it really. And then you get these fantastic shapes. And then you just go through each one, create your different radius like I'm doing here. Let's copy that code. Go back into your CSS. And let's change the fourth child, which is this image here. And... Uh, actually, that's the third child, <laughs> that one there, and your new shape, your new blob will exist. So that's the first bit. That's how you can create your cool little blobs. I just think they're quite interesting. They're obviously not applicable to every website, but for some websites, they're kind of they're kind of funky. I think I really I really quite like them. And the second thing I want to show you how to do is this light box that you can have them opening up a light box, which is a very common question I get asked. And I'm just using a simple plugin for this, which is this one here called Simple Lightbox, which is a free WordPress plugin link in the description below as well and basically all it does is then you can apply a light box to your gallery there is one more thing you need to do to get this to work which i'll show you now i'm going to click on the list view click on gallery at the top and what you need to make sure over on the right here that this is actually linking to the media file if it's to the attachment page it's not going to work so just make sure that's linking to the media file and now when you click on any of these images they will open up automatically into this nice light box that your users can go back and forth on. So there we go, there's a way that you can make your gallery images just using the core Gutenberg gallery block. A bit more interesting, a bit more pizzazz. I hope you found that useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button now, that'd be amazing because it really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, as you may know, every time you do hit the like button, every time you do, our cats get a little treat. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon.